IntelliJ IDEA 2017.2 comes with a number of improvements to make it easier to work with Spring Boot. Firstly, there's a new Run dashboard for running Spring Boot applications. From here, you can see and manage all the Spring Boot applications in your project. You can start more than one at once, and if there are any errors or problems, these are clearly shown. The dashboard also has an Endpoints tab. Here you can see your Bean endpoints for this application and all their details. The Health tab shows you information that's important for monitoring the health of your application. And the Mappings tab shows you all your configured mappings. Of course, you can easily stop all your applications from the dashboard too. This feature is still experimental, so you need to explicitly turn it on to use it. If you're using the JetBrains Toolbox app, this is simple. Go to the settings of your IntelliJ IDEA 2017.2 installation and press the Edit Java Virtual Machine options. You need to add this flag to enable the Run dashboard and save this configuration file. You will not need to do this for IntelliJ IDEA 2017.2.1. The default file for application settings is application.properties, but Spring allows you to set a custom file for these settings. For example, here we're using a file called mongodbapp.properties. Normally a custom properties file like this wouldn't show as a Spring configuration file, nor would you get all the expected highlighting and code help. IntelliJ IDEA 2017.2 now lets you select your application configuration file. If you type the application name, your properties file will be selected, and you'll get the full behaviour of an application properties file. There are other improvements for configuration files. For example, the Suggestions drop-down uses information like the Enhanced Deprecation information. Here we have a deprecated property that's shown in red to highlight it should not be used. That's because this property has a deprecation level of error. So IntelliJ IDEA 2017.2 helps to highlight this problem. You'll see standard deprecation shown as normal. The suggestions have also been improved so that the ordering is more sensible, particularly prioritising your own properties over standard ones. The suggestions for keys and values are more accurate, and as you saw, formatted to help you decide what can safely be used. If you have a custom banner file that doesn't have the standard banner.txt name, this was previously not recognised and you didn't get code highlighting and suggestions. In IntelliJ IDEA 2017.2, if your configuration includes the banner.location setting, this custom banner file is fully recognised. Other configuration changes to mention include more support for auto-configuration, specifically configurations with conditional on property, auto-configure order, and auto-configure before and after annotations. Finally, the Spring Boot application settings are easier to find. They've been grouped together under a new Spring Boot section in Languages and Frameworks. Also, the Create Run Configuration Automatically setting now applies to Gradle as well as Maven. As well as all this, there are a number of bug fixes and performance improvements which will make developing Spring Boot applications in IntelliJ IDEA even easier. Thanks for watching.